the word of God is given to us to understand, to study it, understand it, and live by it. If you don't know what it says, you have a lot of assumptions in your life. And you struggle with failure after failure. Failure after failure. You have a life that has that is inconsistent with what you believe. And there's where a lot of Christians live. They have a life that's inconsistent. A contradiction of their faith. And so they have this struggle all the time. You find yourself in that place, struggling with your faith, trying to believe, trying to make it so. Oh God, my life is such a contradiction. But I believe. But look at me. What is the problem? I'll tell you what the problem is. Believing and faith are not the same. We don't walk by believing. We walk by faith. Not by believing. So they have a frustration all the time because they believe. And they want to see the manifestation of their believing in their work, in their life. But it's a contradiction. So they challenge God. Oh God, your word says this. Now they make him the scapegoat, you know. Your word says this. Because we're told, take him at his word. They don't understand taking God at his word. Your word says this. And so why is this? And when you say that, God will say, that's the question I'm also asking you. I want to know why. There's a difference between faith and belief. For most of them, they believe. But faith is a different thing. So because they believe, they're mistaking their believing for faith. And so the situation persists. So they are worried and troubled. God, why? Why is it taking so long for this thing to change? Maybe it's in their finances. Maybe it's in their health. Why is it taking so long for this thing to change? I believe. What's the problem? The Bible says we walk by faith. It didn't say we walk by belief. We walk by faith, not by believing. To believe is to accept that something is real or that it is so. It is to endorse the existence of something. Whatever it is. You accept it. That is belief. Okay? Now, faith on the other hand is acting as though it is so. You see the difference? And to act as though it's so. The word tells us, it means to think as though it's so, because you believe, to talk as though it's so, and to act as though it's so. It says, we also have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Can you see that? So it is the step beyond believing. When you have believed, it says, we believe and therefore have we spoken. We believe. And therefore, you see, it's the result of it. So don't say, I believe. If you believe, then do what your believing has made you believe or made you have. A believer is a haver. You believe and you have. I ask people, if you've been in some of the, the conferences, I say, when you believe in Jesus, did you get anything? And I've asked ministers, and sometimes, you know, they scratch their head and just they realize that they never thought about it. And so you've been preaching many years. 
You never thought about it. The Bible says, whosoever believeth heart. So I say, when you believe, did you get anything? And I never thought about it. The believer, God saw it. But what did you get when you believed? He that believeth heart. When you believed, what did you get? You say, I, I well, I received eternal life. Did you? You see, you probably, you probably didn't. Or if you did, something went wrong. He that believeth heart. Okay. If he that believeth heart, are you he that believeth? If you are, it means you got something. What was it you wrote? The first thing is eternal life. That's what you'd say. Oh, if you got eternal life, you got it all. What else do you want? What does that mean? It spares eternal life, spares death to every virus that comes to your body. It spares death to every germ that attacks your body. It spares death to every evil that comes into your body. So what are you trying to do when you ask to be healed? See, you don't believe. See, because the believer has. This is he that believeth hath. What did you get when you believe? What did you get? You see, many have never been taught that they got something when they believed. So they have their lives going around in circles. They weren't taught. So if when you believe, you had eternal life. You received either believing or not. If when you believed, eternal life was truly imparted to your heart, to your spirit. Imagine that some disease attacks your body. What should you say? What should you do? What should be your response? If it is true that you have eternal life, what does eternal life mean? Will you see it as, as a trial? Who is trying you? Well, you see, that's a temptation. Who is tempting you? The Bible says, God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempted he any man with evil. So who is tempting you with this problem? Who is trying you with this problem? Now that you have received eternal life. It's not a trial. It's not a temptation. 